full contact dual angle rear shim. Problem. Finding the right product to achieve accurate, predictable, and easy combination camber toe changes on the rear wheels of most front wheel drive vehicles. Solution. Our unique series of Rhinite rear alignment shims provide far and away the most surface contact, accuracy, and ease of installation of any system on the market. Inspect rear spindle mounting area for any existing alignment shims. If any shims are present, they must be removed to establish a true base reading. Record initial alignment readings. Note the camber and toe changes desired. Refer to the rear shim application chart supplied to determine the correct shim series and template to be used. Depending on whether your alignment equipment is mechanical or computerized, refer to the respective chart for proper shim number and position. Select the amount of toe change desired by reading down the toe change column on the left side of the chart. For this example, a .50 degree toe change is required. Select the amount of camber change, increase or decrease from camber change listings across the top of the chart. In this example, a one degree increase in camber change is necessary. Read down the camber change column and across the toe change column to find the box where the two columns meet. In the event of an open space, toe angle is the most critical tire wear factor. Therefore, proceed to the closest box on the toe selection line. By doing this, you will maintain the proper toe change desired. Use the information shown in box to obtain correct shim number to use. Bold number in the upper left corner of the box. Determine if you are working on the right or left side and if you want to change toe inward or outward from the reading you now have. The number shown is the indexing number for the shim when locating it on the template. Select correct template and place the shim with tab side facing toward you over the template with notch turned to the location number obtained from the shim position chart. Be sure to make a line across the face, top and down the back side of shim at the zero degree position of the template. Mark tabs to be removed with paint stick. Using our micro shears or small side cutters, nip the edge of the membrane on either side of the tabs you wish to remove, allowing it to break freely. Note, when using alignment equipment containing Hunter Engineering Shim Select program, simply access the program by pressing the designated key on the keypad. The Shim Select program will instantly display the correct shim both color and size mounted in the correct position to bring camber and or toe within manufacturer specifications. A hard copy of the shim template can be printed if desired. Where application information is not available, use the following procedure. Mark the 12 o'clock position of the spindle at its normal ride height. Determine the proper shim style and number. Determine proper position number from chart. Place shim on proper size template. Rotate shim to pre-selected position number. Position spindle on top of selected shim with 12 o'clock reference mark lined up on zero degree position of template. Use the spindle from vehicle to mark bolt pattern directly onto shim tabs to be removed. Also mark zero degree on shim. Now you can proceed by using manufacturer's standard instructions. When removing rear spindle from vehicle, an aid to removing stubborn mounting bolts is this special tool. The hammering action and extra leverage makes this job easier. Clean all surfaces carefully as not to obstruct the accuracy of the shim. Install the shim with previously marked zero degree mark directly at the top and replace spindle or hub to its original position. Torque hub mounting bolts in a star-shaped pattern to manufacturer specifications. Proceed with the rest of the alignment and road test the vehicle.